This week, I am joined by the NFC Special Teams Player of the Week, 49ers punter Mitch Wisnowski. Mitch, uh, NFC Special Teams Player of the Week, what does that mean? I mean, congrats. Thank you. Uh... I mean, it's cool. Had a few average pumps that uh, the boys made look better than they were, so um, they helped me out a lot there. You deliver some pretty punishing tackles and some punishing hits. Uh, what do your coaches say about that when you're flying in, getting a guy? The first one against the Broncos, the message was more, stay back, you're sort of a last man. But then the Panthers one was more, I, like I feel like I had to. So they like to see it, but also just want to make sure that I stay healthy. What do your family and friends say back home? Do they get a chance to catch some of the games? Yeah, they, they all, obviously my folks, they, they watch every game. All my good mates watch it and stuff. So they love it. Um, it's sort of a novelty, like, whenever I if I make a tackle or if I win an award like like just recently I get in the news and stuff back home which is cool for the folks to see. So prior to you being in the Bay Area you were in Utah mm -hmm. correct? How has the Bay Area been treating you? How's that transition been? I love it. Perth back home is very warm so I can't complain uh, coming back to California because I did Juco at Santa Barbara. What would you say is the biggest transition going from Australian football to American football? Um, I mean, in Aussie rules, you sort of have to be a jack of all trades. You need to be able to run, you need to be able to jump, whereas now it's just kick the ball. So I've been able to, you know, put on a few few LBs <laughs> and uh, just focus on uh, the punting side and not the, the running side. Speaking of food, okay, what is a food that you might be used to in Australia that you would love to bring back to the States? Uh, I say meat pies or sausage rolls. They're like sort of pastries with meat in them. I've heard that Australians hate American coffee. Is that true? Oh. Oh boy. Yes. <laughs> yes. What is it about American coffee that you guys just despise? So in Australia, you can't really get vanilla, caramel, hazelnut, cinnamon, all that sort of like flavoring in your coffee. Okay. And I feel like you can hide a very bad coffee behind those flavors. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about the nicknames that your teammates have been giving you. I mean, everyone's trying to figure out what do we call you. I've seen like people submitting names on Twitter. More recently, I've heard of the Boomin' Onion. The Boomin' Onion, What's yeah. up with that? Where'd that come from? We ended up putting names on the board to sort of <laughs> to try, try to narrow it down, try to like establish a solid nickname. Okay. And there are a few votes thrown around. There are a few votes for uh, Great Barrier Chief. Okay. Instead of Great Barrier Reef. Okay. And then the Boomin' Onion instead of Bloomin' Onion. Um, so yeah, and I think uh, it turned into <laughs> almost a unanimous decision that Boomin' Onion was Really? It. Yeah. Obviously, Australia has some pretty awesome slang terms. And I want you to help teach me what some of those slang terms are. All right. Deal? Let's start off with, you have to tell me if I'm saying it right, and I'm probably going to use my accent, Arvo. Yeah, if there's an R in it, uh -huh. it means afternoon. If there's no R, it's Avo. Avo. It's short for avocado. What about the Barbie? Oh, the Barbie. Barbecue. <laughs> what about togs? Togs? I think togs is a Kiwi word for, like, bathers or swimming like Yeah, swimsuit. that's it. Okay. Yeah. Bathers. I say bathers. Like, my folks are from New Zealand and they would say togs. Now it's time for some American slang, so I'm going to test your knowledge. And being in the locker room, maybe you'll get some of these, not quite sure. But we'll start off with term number one. Do you know what drip means? <laughs> <laughs> drip is, uh, like, swag or, like, All right. yeah, sort of, like, expensive stuff. What does it mean to be juiced? Juiced, like hypo and you know, up and about, sort of everybody besides me before the game. <laughs> How about Hella? Hella is, I learned that in Santa Barbara because okay. there was lots of guys from the Bay <laughs> and they love to claim that Hella's their word. So right. uh, I learned that when I first got here. How about, do you know what it means to spill the beans? Yeah, that's all. We use that as well. You guys do? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay, good. I, I didn't know. Mitch, this was a lot of fun. We have to do this again. Maybe the next time you're NFC Special Teams Player of the Week? Sounds good. Great having you. Thanks for having me.